It's John Hartson. John, very, very good morning. Thanks. Really appreciate you taking the time to come and join us. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Um, obviously, the result last night, disappointing. I'm, I'm disappointed for the players, Ali. You know, they got themselves back in the position to go into a, a playoff situation. They were excellent last week against um, against Finland. And the expectancy was really high, you know, last night against Poland. I think a lot of the supporters, you know, on the back of a great performance last week, um, expected to win, you know, expected to win. And at the end of the day, you know, we would apparently kick away from going to our fourth major tournament, you know, in the last since 2016. Which is which is incredible, John, That's when ridiculous. you think of it, really. It is, it is amazing. What about the actual performance? Chances, John, were there good chances, good good opportunities last night for Wales or not? Yeah, we had we had a couple of decent chances. I think um, Kiefer Moore had a decent header um, and uh, the goalkeeper turned it round the post. I right. think one or two other... A, a little bit, we didn't really create enough, I didn't think, Andy, but no. I, I was a little bit surprised. I, I don't want to be negative. It's, it's it's easy, you know, the aftermath yeah. of the game and the reaction and everything. But I was surprised that he didn't play Dave Brooks. Right. I think he's the one player that can unlock defences and scored a wonderful goal, played really well um, in the game against Finland. Um, so for me last night, I, I was a little bit surprised that Brooks didn't start. And also when, when the penalties came around, um, you know, you had, you had Aaron Ramsey on the bench that maybe he could have brought on an extra time. Um, Nathan Broadhead as well, another centre forward. I tell you, the, uh, the, the offside goal was tight as well. Cool. It was tight. Yeah, very, very tight. And so I'm going to ask you, John, um, you touched on it there. I think four out of five, I still think three out of five is very good, right? Yeah. That's, uh, that's my genuine opinion. I think four out of five major competitions would have been incredible. You think, you know, going all the way back to 1958 and Big John Charles and then to go that, 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 that long. I think, obviously now, as will happen with everybody, with, with teams that don't make it, will Rob Page come under a little bit of scrutiny? I think he will. Um, I, you know, I, I've, I've heard the players enjoy playing with under Rob Page, but it's okay the players enjoying playing under him, but I think there will be questions asked whether or not um, Wales need an experienced manager, somebody to make the difference and make the big calls when it's needed. Um, you know, Rob's done. He's done quite well. You know, he took over. He took over from Ryan Giggs. And Ryan Giggs brought him in as as like an assistant. Um, finished off the the group, got them to the World Cup, and um, this time around. As I said, he is a penalty kick away from going into the Euros and everybody praising Robert Page, everybody praising the team. But just shows you there it? might be possibly, you know, questions about, about Rob's future. Mm. Um, you know, it's, it's hard, John, as well. When you go from that Bale Ramsey kind of era, mm -hmm. you're now about to kind of drop into another one now. And, and Rob's got had a good working relationship, as you say, with a lot of those guys that are around it right now. But you've also got to. In, You've got to, and, and again, it was the same in our day with with, with Ireland. Without unless you unless you're qualifying for these competitions, then the then the, the associations are missing out on a, on a lot of money. Yeah, yes. You know, and there's a lot of pressure, Ali, and they're always 100%. from from those that are running football in Wales and running mm. football in Scotland and, and, and Ireland to make sure that you you don't miss out on the big events. Well, this is a fantastic young group of players. You know, it really, really is. You look at Brendan Johnson, Harry Wilson. Um, good players, then, you, yeah. Yeah, over yeah. 50 caps, he's yeah. 23 years of age, you know, he got big, over 50? strong, yeah, it's incredible. See, over yeah. 50 caps, you know, when he yeah. gets around the pitch, he's aggressive, yeah. they play three at the back, they're very, very difficult to break down, this right. Welsh team, you know, Nico Williams is outstanding, yeah. Connor Roberts, you know, they play the three at the back, almost like a 4-3-3, four, four, th uh, three, three. Mm. Um, big Kiefer Moore up top, strong, great in the air so it's it's a great time to, to take this Welsh team forward if you like they're mm. in a really good moment and uh, as you say Gareth Bale but it's almost as if they've not forgotten about what Gareth Bale did but they've, they've moved on from that yeah and there's other players that have come through and proved that they can take this Welsh team forward mm. um, so whether the FAW feel as if they need a more a manager that's been in these high profile situations and he can be the key to making a difference because it is a wonderful time 
to manage this group of players. Mm. Well, as you, we, we both are all know very well, Dean Saunders is a good good friend of the show and a good friend of your Rose Johnny. Johnny, he was at the game last night and he spoke to the lads on the sports bar after a disappointing loss. Uh, and as you can imagine, he was a little bit down in the dumps. I, I could actually be physically sick right now. I feel that bad. I know, we've all, I know, <laughs> I know we're laughing, but we've all been there. It's just that when I hear Dino's I mean, voice, I, I mean, he, does, oh, he always makes me chuckle. Even, tell you, even it, John it, started smiling oh, when he heard Dean's Look, voice. I tell you, one thing about Dino, guys, he can't hide it and he doesn't no, hide it. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. He probably felt, and what he said there was exactly how every Welshman was, or woman was feeling last night, John. Uh, he's brilliant, Dean, and he was a great player. And as you know, um, he never reached a, a major tournament. You look at the players in the past, the yes. Rushes, the Ratcliffs, the Absolutely, the Neville Sparkies, Southalls. the Southalls, the, you know, um, the Rushes, all yeah. these guys. It's incredible, really. Um, I don't know whether the format's changed and it's helped the recent Welsh teams or not. But, uh, you know, for me... Um, Dean's a very passionate Welshman. You could see there he's very, very disappointed. Yeah. He's also missed out on a gig to the Euros. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, all, we all know what Dino's like. But, um, are you, no, are you fellow. suggesting for yes. a minute he's thinking about his pocket yes. there? Yes. <laughs> <By Yeah>. the <laughs> <way>. <laughs> I think he might, he might be too far away for the truth there. Yeah, but we saw Rushy in that. We saw Rushy there last night in the crowd, and it's, it's good that the ex great players still go on. They're very passionate to see Wales doing well. But um, listen, it's very disappointed because, as I said, we got ourselves back in the group, mm. um, you know, losing to Armenia at home. Uh, that was probably so, the big... Yeah, but we mean, took four points off Croatia which as was, well. Alan. I know, you can balance up because Andy and I were talking. Yeah, we're that, that, you make a good point there yeah. because you can balance up, but only taking one point from Armenia, that that's probably, what, that's, that's that's comes probably back to haunt you. That's at the end of the day. Yeah, what about them, John Poland? What do you think? And what were they doing the summer? Well... Listen, I'm not quite sure. I thought Lewandowski was quiet last night. I yeah. think the three at the back never give him a kick, a player of his quality. But I have to say, he's not the Lewandowski that he was five, three, four, yeah. five years ago. There's yeah. no, you know, yeah. he's, but he's still obviously he's still a threat, and uh, he tucked his penalty away nicely. But he, I thought he was very, very quiet in the game, down to how well the, the Welsh boys defended. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from six a.m. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.